last part we had removed the piston from place so now uh, we are going to dismantle the piston that means uh, we remove the piston from connecting rod so for removing the gudgeon pin you need to have a brass rod like this just hit over the gudgeon pin so that you can be able to remove the gudgeon pin easily so now we had removed the gudgeon pin from the piston so this is how we need to remove it always use a zinc rod or brass rod do not use steel rod because it may damage the gudgeon pin so now the connecting rod is already removed so we need to change the bearing for connecting rod smaller one so for uh, changing the bearing we need to remove it you have to use a small box which can fit inside the bearing and just hit on top of it and make sure you are not damaging the body of the connecting rod you can see the box is exactly fitting inside the head of bearing so just hit it on top of it you can remove the bearing just like that always ensure you are not damaging the body of the connecting rod and the inner surface of the bearing because if you are damaging the inner surface it may again damage the new bearing which you are going to install so we had already removed the bearing so after removing the bearing we are going to install the bearing after cleaning the bearing surface so now what we are going to do is we are using the hot gun just to heat up the bearing surface and uh, once you heat the area the expansion will happen so that it will be easy for us to fit the bearing inside the connecting rod so this is a hot gun which uh, you get very easily most of the ship nowadays we have this hot gun if not you can also uh, use the bearing you can keep the bearing in ice room so that the bearing get shrink and you can fit the bearing so this is one way the ice fit up i will show you in some other video so the main thing is you have to heat up the surface very properly just check with the temperature gun whether it is 100 plus or not so that the expansion must have uh, carried out so so once we are done with this just uh, You can keep the bearing on top of it just we tried to fit it is not going so again we are hitting up the hitting up the surface hitting up the surface now you can see the bearing is uh, going inside so once it is down just hit with uh, any copper or brass rod little hit is okay not a problem it don't get damage it is a small rod just we are hitting by hand do not give any force you can see just we take a brass rod just hit on top of it just a mild hit not more than that a small hit will make see it is going very easily so that's all this is how we have to install the bearing for it So okay so we are done with the fit up of bearing there's you can see the bearing is exactly on surface of the connecting rod okay so we are done with the uh, fit up of connecting rod bearing so okay now next part we will assemble piston 